do you like to soar over all the evening traffic jams? Uber says it wants to make it happen with flying cars, and the idea is taking off right here in North Texas. Channel 8's Sebastian Robertson shows us those plans. You can get there. Uber announcing an ambitious goal in Dallas. Flying cars have been promised for decades, but are actually arriving now. It's called the Elevate Network. The company promises to cut down an hour and 40 minute drive to 15 minutes. And above all, it promises to be affordable, though they have yet to say how much per ride. The technologies that you need to make this happen exist today. It's a matter of bringing them together along with the regulatory environment, the public perception and acceptance of this kind of technology in the marketplace. Tuesday morning, Dallas and Dubai were announced as test cities. Fort Worth-based Bell Helicopter is playing a key role in designing the aircraft that has yet to be revealed. We think it's going to be a great opportunity to have our products flying in this metro area, and we look forward to what it could mean for the economy as well. This may sound familiar to you. Well, back in 14, Uber offered helicopter rides to and from AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Uber makes it clear that that was a promotional move. The user experience will be nothing like the Uber chopper. So helicopters are simply not capable of being low enough noise, high enough efficiency to drive to the level of safety and low cost that must be associated with these vehicles. Uber isn't saying exactly what the aircraft is going to look like, at least not yet, but they are through the use of virtual reality, showing what a ride may look like. Uber says it'll be ready to launch during the World Expo in Dubai in 2020. We are arriving at your destination. These are, are going to be a new type of vehicle that are going to be much, much quieter than a helicopter and much more efficient. For now, all we have is renderings of what the future of travel may look like. Thank you for choosing. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.